for a month, we've been tightening the noose around the last escaping krauts as we roll towards Paris. But like a cornered rattler, you can bet they got one last strike. For a month, we've been tightening the noose around the last escaping krauts as we roll towards Paris. But like a cornered rattler, you can bet they got one last strike. If we're gonna make our mark, we gotta be ready for anything. Like teaming up with the SOE, British Special Forces. Something big is happening. Gotta be. Davis is here. We received intelligence from the resistance about a German train carrying V2 rockets for an attack on Paris, refueling near Argenton. That gives us just enough time to move our team into position. It must be stopped. You proved yourselves in Marinier, which is why you'll get the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir, but it seems like a job for more than one platoon. That's why I'm teaming you up with the SOE. Looks like you two caught a bit of it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We said some for you. Agents Vivian and Crowley will lead the operation. They've been working with the Resistance for months and know the terrain well. We'll defer to them. We heard about Marigny. Impressive. I can't take all the credit. Just doing our job. And a fine job it was, but a warm-up, I'm afraid. Look, this is no ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. A liaison in the resistance, Rousseau, will provide support if possible, but attacks on their network could mean we're on our own. The fate of Paris is in your hands. Reminds me of the time we parachuted into Vercourt. Ambushed that Gestapo patrol. You're just an old romantic. All right, there's our target. Well, you gotta give those crowds some credit. Train's right on time. <laughs> Biggest train I've ever seen. Thickest armor, too. It's a Panzerzug. Those V2s have a range of 200 miles, more than enough to hit Paris. We can't let it reach the launch site. <laughs> Enemy movement up ahead. All right. Vivian, I'll take them out. Turn out that'll be your signal to advance. Daniels! Since you and Justin were so gung-ho at Marinier, you'll provide them with fire support. Come on. All right, let's go. Everyone stay low. Suppressor's on! Take out the sniper. Use your knife, Daniels. Well done, Daniels. Now the officer. On your go. Take a few men and go around the house. Daniels, stay with Crowley. Keep moving. Oh! 
Daniels, where the hell are you? I'm coming, hang on! Holy shit. Did that just happen? Can't believe we made it. That's one for the books. I hope Styles had his camera. Pearson might even get off our asses for five damn minutes. Look out! Follow me. I'll take you to your platoon. I'm sorry. Who the hell are you? A friend. No hurry. <coughs> First aid kit! I need that aid kit! On it! I believe these men belong to you. Ah, I see you've met Rousseau. She's with the Marquis, French Resistance. She killed a crowd that was gunning for us. You could at least try to capture and interrogate them first. There would be more trouble than they're worth. I thought we lost you. Looks like you did some damage. The train was supposed to be stopped, not destroyed. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, things didn't go exactly as planned, but on the bright side, we've just alerted every goddamn German outpost in the whole area, so we gotta get moving. Come on. Not until we finish the mission. Isn't that right, Major? We'll need your help in securing Don't know how, but Zuss and I survived wrecking that train long enough to find ourselves rendezvousing with a tough French gal. Goes by Rousseau. She's a member of the Resistance, and if you can believe it, she made us paw through the wreckage for some papers. She needed them for a mission in Paris. And she had a job for us, too. By blowing up that train, we bought Paris more time. Now the Resistance is going to use the papers we secured to infiltrate a Nazi stronghold in the city. Sign me up.